Welcome to the R video tutorial on merging two data sets. This is part of Statistics 321 at Virginia Commonwealth University, but anybody can use it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to merge two data sets together. In this case, they're going to both have a common column name. So let's get started. Let's read in the two files. Uh, f the files are out on the drive on the internet, which is linked in the description below. We're going to read in Revenue 1 and Revenue 2, and they are CSV files. So I'm going to make this Rev1 is going to be read.csv. And I'm going to use the path approach here. It's on my desktop right now, so you can download it to your desktop. And you can see there's Revenue 1, and this does have a header. So... Uh, and I can do this again for Revenue 2, but copy and paste works really well. So I would highly advise you to copy and paste this uh, because there's no point in retyping everything. So Rev 2, Revenue 2. And if I run these, you will quickly see that they are over here in my uh, environment. You can also see Rev3 is the answer there because I've already checked it out. Uh, here's what Revenue 1 looked like. It has some ID number, K something, and then some revenue that it generated. Uh, revenue 2 has the ID. Again, that's the common column. And that's important. Year started, year interest, year terminated. And what we want to do is put these two data sets together. We have them read in. And it's very simple to do this using the merge statement. So I'm just going to use the merge statement here. So rev3. And I'm going to do merge. And then I put one for before the other. So rev1 and then rev2. Those are my two data sets. And then I'm going to put in here by because I need to know what to match things up on. So I'm going to match up on ID. That's the variable name. So this is the variable name to match up on. When I run this, it will create Rev3, which if you look at it, you will have the ID, revenue, year start, interest, year term. Well, what happens if I wanted the revenue really on the end? Well, what I can do is I can just change this around. Remember, Rev1 was the one with the money in it. So I just copied and pasted this. I'll make this Rev4, and this will be Rev2. Rev1, we're still matching on ID. If I run this, then when I look at this, notice the year start, interest, year term, and then the revenue is the last column. So it puts them in the order of the uh, columns that were in the original data set, and it doesn't repeat the column that they've merged on, and they've matched up on these versus doing something as simple as a C bind. In a C bind, you match things together, and you hope the rows go together. Here, merge actually takes a column and matches things up on the actual identifier. So that's the difference between using this and CBind. And it can be quite handy when you're building other data sets, especially uh, when you have data sets coming from many different areas, you can easily merge things together. Um, the next video will tell you how to do this when the column IDs differ, because sometimes the column IDs don't match up. 